What's good, YouTube? This is Boxing Wave, and we are back with another breakdown. We do have a big fight coming up. I know everybody's still talking about the Day of Reckoning, and I know I still have to do, do more content on that card. But we do have a fight coming up on December 26th. At least for us, it's going to be the day after Christmas, um, roughly around 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, Eastern time. The thing with these fights, the timing is not always perfect to the schedule. So... I will be covering the fight live, all right? It's going to be really early in the morning for us. I still have to go to work shortly after, but I will get up and I will cover the live just like I've covered plenty of other fights around that time. Now, in, in a way, is going to be facing off against Marlon Tapales, and this is going to be undisputed at 122, okay? Um, Tapales is coming in with two titles, and Anue is coming in with the two titles that he won over St Stephen Fulton. It's a pretty good fight. Um, it's just, you know, with these Inoue fights, it's it's just hard now because you know I, I wanted to do the film study and I did that I did that all day today, and it's just hard to really find a way or angle to to seeing where Anue can lose a fight. You know, he's been so dominant over the years. It's just really hard, especially after being Stephen Fulton. You know, going up in the division and going straight towards the, the, the top guy. It makes it really, really tough, you know. And Marlon Tapales is a good fighter. Um, he's he's coming off his best career win against MJ Akhmadaliyev. He's coming off a good win and a good performance. It was a good fight. Um, I thought he edged it seven rounds to five. Um, but again, it's it's a new way that we're talking about here. You know, and then you, tr you try to go with, you know, the styles. And, you know, one thing about a new way, and I, I did really, really minimal amount of film study on him for this fight because I've been doing film study on him and he's been very active and, you know, I kind of know exactly where I'm going. And sometimes I watch his fights on my free time. And, you know, when I'm looking at this and I'm like, okay, he's fight he's facing against the Southpaw here. You know, and you know, Tapales does he does bring some things. He 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 has very, very good timing. Very good timing. That's one thing about him, is he knows how to punch it, throw the punches at the right time. It seems like that, especially in the NJ fight. You know, being a southpaw, uh, probably maybe barely shorter than in a way as well. Knows how to get low um, and has some really, really good angles on top of that. And I like his punch selection, too. When he's throwing his combinations, you know, he, he throws them from different angles. He has the ability there, you know. I mean, he's not Stephen Fulton and he's not exactly anyone else that in a way has faced. The problem I have, and the reason why I have so much doubt in him winning this fight, is because the new age just basically adjusts to whoever he's facing. You know, and when I look at the Das Marinas fight, who was also Southpaw, that new age faced not too long ago, and then you had Paola maybe a, a year or two before that, it's like those guys got exterminated really, really quick. You know, and when I was re watching the Des Marinas fight, he starts out, he's doing all his movement, and, you know, Inoue is taking it easy. He's landing his few shots, landing a couple of hooks, nice counters. It's all about timing with Inoue as well. But then, like, after the first round, after he felt them out, he just destroys them in the second round, you know? And it's just, it's just really, really hard to call a fight with Inoue, you know what I mean? And then Payano is just like, in a way, I think stopped him with the very first punch. So, what I think the fight, what I will say is this. I think for the amount of time it lasts, it should be a good fight. I don't think it's going to last as long as Stephen Fulton did. Because Fulton was very cautious. I think Fulton, once he realized that he was being outmatched, he was very hesitant throughout the fight. I don't think Marlon Tapales is going to come and bring that same kind of fight. 
you know, I think Marlon Tapales is going to actually try to win and try to counter him. And even if he's getting beat to the punch, you know, I don't, I mean, I've seen enough of his fights. And I, I don't think he's necessarily going to stop throwing. He's still going to let his hands go. You know, but style, stylistically, you know, the mistakes he makes, he does lunge in a little bit. Especially when he's throwing a left hand, a backhand. Sometimes he lunges in. Sometimes his head is a little bit too forward. Especially because he squares up after. Those are the moments and the times where he's going to get countered, man. I think it's clear as day. Even in the MJ fight, you've seen it. You know, even though he was doing well in the fight, you can tell very early in the fight that, that that's a shot that Nui is going to take advantage of. He's going to land a left hook. And to be honest, I think him being a southpaw actually puts him in a disadvantage. And I'm talking about um, to Palace here. Because I think Inoue is better against Southpaws. You know, I mean, a guy that has that kind of ability, you know, you're just given a clear view to land a straight right hand, you know, or counter your jab with the left hook. Inoue is is very good at that. So, you know, it doesn't it's not like he has to focus on solely on landing the overhand right over your jab or anything like that. No, he has a clear shot, clear view at you. And I think Inoue and his speed, and, and Tapalis moves well. Listen, um, Tapalis in his time, and I was talking about that against the MJ fight, Tapalis had very good timing in that fight. Um, he takes the proper step backs when he needs to to get out of danger. He knows how to step in quickly. He knows how to get in range very quickly. You know, he's very capable, and again, he has the angles and stuff, but will it really matter, you know? Especially because if you look at the history, you know, I saw the Asawa fight. Um, I saw a few of his fights, a good number of his fights. He, he's not the most durable fighter. He's not. And, you know, I know I sound like I'm going all over the place because I can't, I don't really see how he can win the fight. You know, I mean, he, he can punch. But I think you need a little bit more than a, a puncher's chance of winning this fight, you know. And a new way in recent fights, I mean, even going up in weight now, I just can't see. He's just way too disciplined. He's way too intelligent. And whatever is working for you is not going to continue to work for you. You know, ask Nonito Donaire. You know, uh, he had success. Donaire had success in their first fight. But he got dominated in the rematch, you know. And... Anybody else that was sort of doing well, at some point, Inoue caught up to him. Butler Butler just did not want to engage at all. And even he was stopped at some point. Because a guy has quick enough feet to catch these guys. So even if you try to be evasive, Inoue is going to catch you. And if you try to go to war with him, he's going to catch you anyway. You know, he's going to outspeed you. He's going to outpower you. He's going to... I'll thank you. He's one of the best fighters of the world. He's one of the two best fighters in the world, in my opinion. Between him and Bud Crawford, they're the two best fighters in the world. You know, and this fight is undisputed. And Inoue is going to be an undisputed champ in a couple of days. In two different divisions. And I think a champion overall in four different divisions. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's four. Tapala's got a lot of experience. He's been fighting for 15 years. Um, they're roughly around the same age. They're around the same size. Uh, he has the experience. You know, he's been champion before. He's lost it on the scales. But um, Inoue is just on a different level as far as the just consistency of fighting top fighters. Um, not really getting hurt. You know, I mean, I think... Uh, I think Donier, as powerful as he was, I mean, this is a guy that moved all the way up to 126. I mean, he, he couldn't even drop Inoue, you know, and he did hurt Inoue, but Inoue continued on, you know, even with a broken orbital bone. I mean, durab durability, IQ, power, speed, just s uh, slickness, you know. I mean, Stephen Fulton, who's always looked like a very slick fighter, you know, always looked slick, 
was able to exchange and bang with some volume punchers like Angelo Leo and and um uh what's the other fighter? Figueroa. I mean, this guy leading up to the Inoue fight looked like he was the full package until he faced Inoue and then he just totally got out of class. Inoue was toying with him. Let's be honest. He was toying with him, toying with him in that fight. You know? Just ba basically daring him to throw a punch. And Tapalis is a good fighter. And I don't think he will back down, but he's gonna get he's gonna get smoked. <laughs> I can't put it any clearer. No disrespect, he's a good fighter. But Inoue is is king. He's one of the greatest. And he's gonna go down to history as one of the greatest, you know. Um again, you know, Inoue, you know, does get caught. He's is not like he's perfect. He does make some errors and he does slip sometimes, but it's very, very rare. He makes very few mistakes. And I can't say the same for Marlon. And overall, the ability of Marlon, you know, MJ was a good win. Very close fight. Uh, he started off faster. Uh, MJ came back in a later round. MJ was able to hurt him too. Um, but I think, I think the knockout is going to come from Either the left hook to the body. It, it could come in so many ways. It could be a left hook to the body. Um, I know, you know, again, I, I think I think uh Tapalis likes to lunge in. So he can get caught from a counter from lunging in with that left hand at times. Um he also likes to lean to his left a lot. I can see a new way kind of catching him with an uppercut, you know, a right hook, a low right hook. I I can see this the knockout coming in so many different ways, you know, and uh, I think him being a southpaw again is just it's gonna just be an easier view of a new way to connect with the big shot, you know, you know, Payano got hit with one shot. Straight right down the middle. I didn't even have to go back and watch it. I remember it clear as day. I remember watching it live. You know, these southpaws are, they're like a treat for a new way. You know, and I think that's the key. Um, so it may be a good fight for the amount of time it lasts. It really depends on uh, Tapalis' uh, durability. I mean, again, he's a good fighter, but he's fighting the very best in the world. And it's nothing you can really do here, you know. Um, so anyway, that's my breakdown, man. I have a new way stopping him and stopping him soon. You know, I think a new way can let it go for maybe four, maybe five rounds if he really wants to. It really depends on how he feels. He's a general and, um, I don't think he's trying to expose anyone here like Fulton. There's no trash talk. There's a lot of respect. I have to give to pilots a lot of credit for wanting to take the fight. He was there when the new way beat Fulton so you know he wanted to take the fight right away and I appreciate that but again Inoue is just too good you know he's just too good and um I think he's gonna get stopped and, and I don't think it's gonna take long all right um anyway um I'll see you guys early Tuesday morning I can't give you an exact time because I don't I'm gonna kind of like wake up look at my phone see if the fight started already um, I'll probably try to get on the fight prior to the main event. Um, but you know, I'll set up, I'll set my alarm up early and I'll jump on, you know, and I'll, I'll be here with you guys. I mean, we've done it plenty of times. All right. So I can't wait to see you Tuesday. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumbs up, leave comments. Let me know what you guys think. If you do have Marlon, you think Marlon has some sort, sort of shot, let me know in the comments. I don't. But if you do think so, let me know in the comments, all right? I do like, again, I like his angles and stuff. He might land a few good shots, but in a way, it's just too good, all right? Let me know what you guys think. I'm out. Peace.